when new inmates come in, what we do is we go through all their photos, uh, all their tattoos, pull them up on the computer, we check to find any identifying markers um, that could possibly be gang related. Um, for instance, you know, you get, you get a picture like this, if this kind of with the crown comes into play, we'll take a look at that, we'll look it over, um, we'll talk about it, and then we'll check all the other um, tattoos or, you know, his prior bookings when they come in to see if he had any gang affiliation um, in the past. And what we'll start doing now is kind of build a file on him and try to get him to uh, the 10 points that we need for the state regulations to actually classify him as a gang member. Um, while they're in here, they're housed in here, you know, we get a lot of letters that come in or we get a lot of uh, correspondence between inmates to inmates or during cell shakedowns, the correctional officers do a great job with that. We'll find some intel inside their cell and what we'll do is we take that intel and we add that to the file. So to get to those 10 points, if he gets caught with some gang literature, that will also add to the, to the point system. Um, but what we try to do is do it diligently and, and get the numbers to where they need to be. Um, the state is very strict with their guidelines on that. Um, getting the 10 points, for instance, uh, if he has a tattoo on him, it's only eight points. And to get him over to the 10 point mark, you gotta get any kind of indicator, which is we'll call a local police department and ask them if they have um, him classified as a gang member or an associate. We'll um, interview him, try to get him self-admit, self-admit. Um, we'll, is is uh, also uh, nine points so our job is to get to him documented if we can't get it documented we, we won't document it i mean but to get to on our gang list itself we just got 10 points